Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG. Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Well, well, well. Brooklyn Nets, y'all have to take the L. We're going to start there. I know a lot of people was thinking. They want my opinion. How do I feel about Kevin Durant being traded? I do feel like the organization let Kevin Durant down. Uh, in a lot of regards, we always know Kyrie Irving was never available. There's a bunch of reasons why we don't need to get into them right now. But uh, when you trade for a player like Ben Simmons, knowing how uncertain he is, and now he's averaging like two points a game, zero points a game, did you think Kevin Durant was going to stay with that? Did you think Kevin Durant no, was going to no stay with that? Way, See, I'm a New York Giants fan. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Always have been. Always boy, ain't will no way, be. Boy. And they've had a lot of, you know, bad years and things like that. But they've never made you embarrassed to be a fan of theirs like embarrassed like utterly embarrassed like you know you have a bad year you have a bad year the nets have made it embarrassing and i don't i don't knock nobody if they left on the same train out of town that kevin durant is leaving on you know what i'm saying uh kevin durant phoenix phoenix i've always had this phoenix son this is a kevin johnson john it's a throwback i must have had it for some reason and that's seven that would have looked dope with durant but he's gonna win number 35 uh, I'm rooting. I'm going to root for Kevin Durant. I'm sorry. That's one of my favorite players. Kobe Bryant is ultimately my favorite player of all time. But I'm going to still root for Durant. These teams are not loyal. They're not loyal to their fans. They're not loyal to their fan bases. Bro, I saw an email. Why well, I didn't say email. I saw someone say online that they got an email for the season tickets to get renewed as a net season ticket holder. They renewed their tickets and the next day they traded Kyrie and two days later they traded Kevin Durant. I'll be on the phone with my credit card company right now. Nope, fraudulent charge. Nope, 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 no. Nope. I need my money back. So I think in this era, because, you know, we don't have players like Reggie Miller and Kobe Bryant and Tim Duncan, Dirt and Whiskey, who stayed with teams for 20 years. In this player development or player empowerment era, people are out. So you damn near better off being a fans of players rather than fans of teams because the teams – they they showing that they're incompetent. Like, Brooklyn should be moved. The Nets should be moved to the Big East. The Nets should be moved back to New Jersey. Like, this shit is crazy. I ain't gonna hold you. Um, I did look at the Suns team. They they are lacking some depth. I will say that. Uh, Chris Paul's backup is just campaign. Tory Craig is the starting small forward. But then off the bench you have T.J. Warren, Dario Saric. You know what I'm saying? Guys like that, saving Lee, got they don't really have a solid, solid bench. The starting lineup is crazy. Uh, Chris Paul is old, though. 37, 38. He'll be 40 by the end of his... They just tried to trade Chris Paul to the Nets on Monday. So if they would have pulled that trade off, the Suns' new owner, who only been there for like 10 minutes, would have traded for Kevin Durant and Kyrie in the same week. Somebody got to watch him. He is making power moves. But... Uh, that's enough about the sports, man. I, I, but if when you ask, I don't feel bad. Like it is what it is. Like he's a businessman. They gonna make moves. Like that. That shit is gonna happen. That's all that's going on in, in sports. Um, ARP, ARP. Salute to ARP, Red Breed Entertainment. Everything that they got going on. Uh, Divided Conquer pay per view is available. If you ask me, if you ask me, not just because I saw the event and I was there. Um, is it worth copping? Is the pay-per-view worth seeing? Is the battle event worth seeing? I would say yes. A Ward versus Big K and Hitman Holla was there. But um Hollow the Don versus um Ill Will. Hollow the Don versus Ill Will and Big K versus A Ward are some dope ass battles. And then the rest of the card is good too. Caution versus QB was crazy. Uh, Pain versus Bad News was crazy. Those are just the joints I saw. And then I went back and I was watching them, re-watching them. Because um, I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, and I'm gonna talk about ARP saying uh, your entertainment. It's not wrong with it, because you never know if niggas double back and all of a sudden want to come back to YouTube and start doing pay per views again. Oh, but you did all that talk, huh? Not this amount. Not that this. Stop trying to convince people not to buy other leagues' pay per views. 
What if we all jump out and start trying to convince people not to subscribe to your app? Probably wouldn't like it, would you? Fuck out of here. Fuck that app. F that app and all of that. I'll give you my opinion. Um, when people say that we outside, we outside, we in every venue, we in every building, bro, let me dead that notion for you. As someone who does probably the most views of recaps out of everybody, I mean, I don't go channel for channel, but I've heard that and I'm pretty sure that my shit is like up there. Um, you don't gain any distinct advantage by being in the building. You, know, you really don't. You got to try to hear the audio. People next to you are talking, crowd reaction, cheers, smoking, drinking, stepping on your feet, standing on your feet for seven, eight, nine hours. It's very hard to digest and remember battles. I left from Hollow versus Ill Will and I got to the car and I didn't even remember two bars. Like I didn't remember like nothing. I know how I felt about the battle and I know how I felt who won, but at the same time, I didn't have many, many lines that I could regurgitate in recaps because I had to watch it again, which is what I'm saying. So so ultimately what I'm saying is being there means nothing. Don't, if, you, if, you're, if you're watching this, and you aspire to blog, or you aspire to be out there, or you aspire to go to events, or you don't know what's the decision whether going on. Supporting, yes, but actually having to be there, bro, being there, you gotta catch a flight, get a hotel, eat the whole weekend, and get a rental car. You can easily spend a thousand dollars. A pay-per-view is fifty dollars. I will get a pay-per-view in no problem. But sometimes as media, it is good to be around, see people shake hands, and, and see the people who support you. So there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, we will never go with the notion that we're scared to do anything because that's not going to happen. Because that's what, you know, some of the bloggers, they'll say that. Yo, dude, this person don't be there. They scared. No, it's not we're scared. It's just we do so many more views than you niggas that it's probably good to be home to be able to write all of the bars down and break the battles down and put the recaps out as fast as possible. That's another thing. You go there, it's going to take you twice as long to put a recap out because by the time you get back home, you got to fly back into another state and try to drop a recap. Or you could do just some lives, which is cool, too. But uh, I know what my fans want. My fans want, they want the people, me and SP, they want that, that, that footage. So uh, if I'm not at every one, please do not think it's because you're quote unquote scared. It's because I'm doing a service to the people. You know what I'm saying? Nobody takes anything from me but advice. Um, so the app, right? Man, the app has been under a lot of, uh, a lot of scrutiny recently. I did make a blog uh, about it about the whole situation, about not dropping battles on YouTube and things like that. And there's been a lot of reaction to that blog and to many of the other blogs because it's, a lot of it be, this stuff be domino effect. Like one person will say something or two people will say something or fans will say something and you'll just see the trickle effect. So here's my thing. If you go into the blog that I did, if you read the comments, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you just gotta scroll down and read the comments to get kind of a general consensus of how people are feeling, you know what I'm saying? And um. If you read the comments in the blog, you know what I'm saying, you got a lot of different opinions about it. Some people are for it, some people are against it, and some people, you know, they feel like, uh, and, it's, and I know people saw this blog because it did uh, 19,000 in two days. So I'll read the first one. It says, imagine if the NBA uprooted their whole network to another country. Now we got to pay to watch the NBA overseas or go to an event out there that counts. That's basically what URL did. I wouldn't say that. And it's, uh, I'm just reading some of the top ones or everything. Uh, it says, this is why we need YouTube drops, and this is why RBE is start, starting to quietly take over, look better with every card they've been dropping. Uh, another one, it says, they get more subscribers on the app if they drop battles immediately after. I'll just wait three months and binge for a renewal. Yeah, you can literally wait three, four months, get it for one day and watch everything. That's another, I didn't even think about that. Uh... I'm just scrolling through now. It says, uh, facts. I started watching battle rap on YouTube. That's why I got the app. But when the combo with the homies about those battles, nobody's seen. But come on, bro. $8 a month ain't bad for something you love. That is true. Uh, it says, uh, you're giving out too many secrets. It says, RBE dropping battles on YouTube as soon as they happen. That's what I'm looking for. That's going to be a big mistake for the Ultimate Rap League. All right, so it's just a few. Um, I will say this, it is a black business, supporting a black business, $7.99 a month or whatever the case may be. It's not the money, you know what I'm saying? It's not the money. A lot of people are looking at it like it's the money, it's the money, it's the money. Seven, eight dollars a month is really no money. It's not that. It's the quality of what's coming out, the content that is on it, 
that is the problem for people. No disrespect to DNA, but we watched wrestling 15, 20 years ago as kids. I know, I understand there may be some people who still are fans of it or still, you know, they rep they love the, the, the legendary uh, performers and things like that, but that's not battle rap. Like, we got a battle rap app. It's an ultimate rap, that, that, you know what I'm saying? So that's the thing. That's content that could be thrown on YouTube or be thrown on the app. That it should not be people's arguing point. Like, why am I getting this? Why am I getting this? I didn't ask for this. You should have so much other content that's flooding out there that if DNA's podcast was on there, which is a great look and he's doing great things with it, if it was on there, people wouldn't even think nothing of it. But this be the lead. Like, it'd be like most days where I was getting notifications, this would be the thing that'd be coming through. And I'm like, bro, like, we not, what, what are we doing? Like, so um, I was going to say this. So ARP goes online and says, F that app. Fuck that app, basically. Like, you know what I'm saying? F it. What if I say F that app? Um, and he's speaking from the perspective of, from what I've seen in his blog, that, you know, they both be throwing shots. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't throw, sub they do, do a lot of subliminal shit. A URL will do shit like block battles or, you know, say, tell them if I can't battle on this card. Or if you go across the street, you can't come back. They do shit like that. Or they'll do trailers and be a little bit like, if you're tired of paying $40 pay-per-views and if you tired of fucking with them niggas across the street, you gotta uh, subscribe to the app. And then you subscribe to the app and this is what we get. Um, I did say that uh, I thought newer, newer, like brand new people that we never heard of should be on YouTube. I definitely felt that way, you know? But I see the premise from both sides. You are saying that they're trying to, you know, push this app and make sure that, you know, support the culture, whatever the case may be. Support the culture, yes, but the culture got to support you too. When you drop a whole event, let me break this down because y'all need this, right? And I know they watch these blogs. Trust me, they do. <laughs> Say what you want. I know they do. So I'm going to help y'all, you know what I'm saying? When y'all drop an event, why the fuck do you drop the whole event the same day? Like, if you drop no, imagine working hard, working hard, and we just gonna say no. Working hard or volume. We working hard, we, we practicing, we breaking down, but we doing all this stuff every day. And your battle get dropped with five other battles the same day. And if you're not the main event on that joint, ain't nobody even gonna see your battle. Like, that, when is, who's gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody's gonna, gonna stay and watch every single one. These guys deserve days. If you knew that you're dropping Gnome this week, if you're dropping battles on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, drop one this Monday, this Wednesday, this Friday. Then the next week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, it keeps people engaged. What they do, drop everything on Monday. Now I wind up watching one battle and never watching the rest of the joint. And then from the visibility, visibility standpoint, there are some people who's just not gonna get it, so they just won't see the battles. You have artists. Artist whose bars are getting used by other people and nobody notices because they that battle stuck on the app. Easy to block captain. Uh, shout out to Piper Boy and shout out to other people who spoke about this. But I'm gonna say it too, you know what I'm saying? I got my own platform. Salute to all of them and everybody that do what they do, you know what I'm saying? They're my guys, but I gotta say this too. He said uh, the easy to block captain's Confederate flag line had got stolen. If you look at this, right? Bring it in, 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 right? If you look at this tweet, these are all of the people who took Easy to Black Captains, I got a Confederate flag in front of my trap, it ain't been raided since, line, right? They taking it and going viral, thousands of retweets, thousands of views, thousands of looks for a line that ain't even theirs. And Easy has no way to refute it because his battle is stuck on the app. If it was on YouTube, the whole world would know. They would have been able to put the clip in there. But um, ARP says, fuck that app. Uh, ARP had an event this weekend in Atlanta. And I'll be honest with you, it was very good. I seen LTBR rated it a 9 out of 10. I would have probably rated it a 10 out of 10. It was very good. The vibe was dope. They had a good bar. They had good people in there. They had the blue room, the cameraman. They rolled out the red carpet for you. You get there, your name is on the list. You ain't gotta wait on the line and around the corner and all of that. See, the thing is, so people be like, oh, you, why, 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 why this event? Why that event? I'm like, bro, I'm at a point. Me personally, this is, I don't really wanna talk about myself personally too much in this, but if I'm catching a flight to a city, getting a hotel in a city, getting a rental car in a city, having to eat out there the whole weekend and things like that. Do you think I'm gonna go to an event and I have to stand online? 
or I'm gonna go to an event and I'm they acting funny with me at the door. Not saying this happened at any event because it ain't gonna happen because I'm not gonna be there. <laughs> I'm not gonna be there. It's just not gonna happen. I feel like I personally do way too much in battle rap to go through that. Like, why would I do that? I'm not gonna be there. I'm gonna go where I'm welcome. If the, if the door is open and the red carpet is rolled out, I went to Battle Academy's event last month. I went to Tay Rock's event, uh, the No Entourage joint. I've been at like three or four joints. So when they pushed move the goalposts, I really been outside. But when you go to these events and they roll the red carpet out, that's where you want to be. I'm not going. If I can't be on the list, I'm not coming. That's just what it is. I rock with uh, what Remy Ma got going on with Chrome. If I'm on the list, then I'll be there. If I ain't on the list, I'll be right at home watching it on pay-per-view. I got no problem. And like I told y'all in the beginning of this, it's better to be home. You can hear all the bars. You can rewind it. Mind you, so everything that I just said, right, cost a thousand dollars. The rental car, the hotel, the food, the whole weekend. If you burn, if you smoke, if you drink, that is going to run you about a band. If you stay home, you pay fifty dollars and you can rewind it. If you go, you spend a thousand dollars and you can't rewind it. You see what I'm saying? So when never, 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 please don't ever buy into the notion. Of bloggers don't go to the event, they don't go because it's not going to do, you don't make money. You, if, if you ain't interviewing, <laughs> or if you ain't hip hop is real, or 15 minutes of fame, or running around with a camera interviewing people, man, you can see that shit at home. So why is ARP on the fuck the app shit? He looking at it like this. You strike him while the iron's hot. It is what it is. He had a dope event. A lot of people was fucking with it. There was a lot. <laughs> I'm not going to call every single person out who's there. Cause, you know what I'm saying? Some people may not want URL to know they was there. There's a lot of artists that was there. The shit was, it was, it was surprising. I'm not gonna hold you. And there was a lot of artists that was there that was not on the card. And there was artists that was there that was not on the card and don't live in this state. You know what I'm saying? Like motherfuckers flew there for that. But I ain't about to, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. They saw whoever I saw, you know, I'll, I'll dap you up and nod my head. But uh, why they're there? They looking at it like, yo, these niggas got YouTube drops over here. These niggas got events over here. These niggas got motion over here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's why they all aligning themselves and being around, because they looking for opportunities. The artists won't tell you that they want recaps or they want people to talk about their battles or they want to be on YouTube. Trust me, they do. I literally, I was gonna pull it up earlier. I wasn't gonna show y'all, but I would have read it. A conversation with me and an artist on URL signed asking me to please recap their battle. They'll shoot me X, Y, and Z amount to recap their battle. And I didn't do it because I don't take money to recap battles. I will never take money from someone to recap a battle because it's something I do for fun. I like doing it. But I got to be interested or intrigued in the battle. But his battle got dropped with eight other ones and he was at the bottom. He wanted some attention. So I'm like, I don't, I don't do the pay for play. Because if I do it and you don't like the recap or... Oh, I don't get to it fast enough. You'll be out there putting the screenshots. I sent this nigga 25, 50, 100. I send the money here and we get. So I don't, I don't even go down that lane. But uh, back to ARP. Uh, he got a lot of motion right now. A lot of people was fucking with his event. There's a lot of big names in there. <laughs> you seen? I, you, I tell you, you seen people that you saw in there. You saw Hitman in there. You saw other people in there. Remy was there. You know, she was definitely there. Why? What? Why do you think they're there? They're there because you know. They want to see what's going on. Motherfuckers want to be around good shit. I understand it was in Atlanta, but uh, is 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 ARP right for saying fuck that app? He has his, he's entitled to his own opinion. You know what I'm saying? He can say what he want. That's a grown man, and he has a podcast too. Sorry, it's true. Make sure you watch that. Um, but when somebody who's done things to you, regardless, I mean they both do shit, man. But I mean he feel, you know he 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 has a right to say whatever he feels. He feels like when they were up or when they're up. And they, they make their trailers and they talk about, you know, no pay-per-views and you can't copy respect and all that other shit that he feels like that's about them. Duplicated, never imitated and all of that shit. Remember, what's this other shit? The imitators, not the, whatever, all the shit. Y'all know the shit that they be saying when they be mad at ARP. Uh, but I'm personally a fan of battle rap, you know what I'm saying? I like all leagues. I've seen big leagues, small leagues, this league, whatever league. If the battles are good and, you know what I'm saying, the business is right, it is what it is. Um, but w the thing is, you know, a lot of people try to call RBE KFC. I'm like, KFC, they booking big battles over there. They booking big battles. 
Hollow the Down versus Ill Will is not a little battle. Hitman versus Cassidy is not. These niggas is booking big battles over there. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't, have me, don't be having too much pride to hide. I'm just saying. Um, but is he definitely, and he, he's probably spazzing because, you like I said, they took shots at him, so he's taking shots at them. Uh, but Battle Rap, putting it on YouTube 100% is definitely a slippery slope because the battles got curses in them. So once the videos is out, the videos will get flagged, and it's a lot of gray area that you have to deal with. But uh, what y'all think? I have never seen a league owner take like an outward stance against a product. Like, fuck that. And like, he said that. Fuck that. You know? But a shot for a shot, man. That's what they're doing right now. Uh, Y'all jump in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, Rare Breed Entertainment will probably be putting out Hollow Dark vs. Ill Will. I'm sure that's going to do views. Uh, Big K versus A Ward. I'm sure that's going to do views. And a lot of other battles that was on QB vs. Caution, you gotta see that battle. Like, these are battles that were Rosenberg Raw vs. Jag. Like, <laughs> that shit was aight, man. I'm out. Game. Always be a fan of a player over a team. Teams aren't loyal. There goes my favorite player, Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. This is my sitting area. It's like a shrine for Kobe Bryant. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all know me. Nets, 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 I am a player fan first. You know what I'm saying? I'll always be, it'll always be my favorite player, Kobe Bryant. And I'm still going to root for Kevin Durant. Bing, bing.